can you go on a roller coaster wearing a wig? Let's find out. So it's Disneyland day. I'm so excited. I've been counting down the days. Oh my gosh, I love Disneyland and I love all the rides. I love, I like thrill ride. I love a roller coaster, anything like that. Give it to me. So I'm gonna go on all the rides and test out my Game Changer Week. I've decided to wear my short Game Changer Week today because it's a bit hot, so short is better for that. Um, and I just thought that would be a bit easier, you know, going on rides and getting your hair all messed up is annoying when it's longer. So I thought I'll go with this one and we'll see how it goes. I've actually never worn a Game Changer, any luster on a ride um, because I don't have a roller coaster at my disposal in Adelaide. Do you know how much we get asked for videos showing rigs on roller coasters? It's honestly almost every day. And if I had a roller coaster at my disposal, I would have done it sooner, but I don't. So here we are. And I have been on many roller coasters um, wearing hair in my life, but I've actually never done it in a luster now that I think about it. So I'm sure it'll be fine. I have full, full confidence, full faith in my game to wig that I can do anything in. But it's going to be fun to see for the first time how it goes. Now, don't laugh at me, but we're going to start with the teacups just so we can start off real slow and work up from there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, you do go quite fast. All right. I thought the teacup ride was a baby ride. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't know about that. Obviously my hair was absolutely fine. We weren't going that fast. I just, I hadn't been on the teacups before and I honestly thought it was a bit slower than that. But yeah, hair was absolutely fine. No problems at all. So let's move on to something a little more testing. Next, we're going on the Matterhorn bobsled. Here's my camera assistant, Greg, who took lots of the shots for me. It was faster than I remembered it being. I have been on it before. Um, so it was definitely a good step up from the teacups and a good test for the wig. As you can see here, it's moving around a lot, but it was no problems at all. I wasn't concerned at all. Here's a like speeding up this part of the ride. It was a bit boring. But then we got to this part, which I completely forgot about. Thank you, Greg, for pointing that out to me. A massive drop with water. Oh my God. I honestly completely forgot this um, ride had that drop with all that water. So I wasn't sure how wet I was going to get. And this was right at the beginning of the day. So this is the drop from this perspective, just so you can see what I was seeing. Like, oh, shivers. Oh my God. And here it is from Greg's perspective. <laughs> it was quite fast quite wet um, but not too bad I think Greg copped most of the water thank you Greg but hair was okay a little bit wet but not too bad let's move on to day two. Oh my gosh we're going on the Incredible coaster next which used to be California screaming if you know it as that um, I'm so excited this is definitely the the ride to test out this hair on it's the fastest one right in the whole park yep. yeah easily so haven't been on it for a while Pretty sure it's gonna be fine, obviously, but we'll see how we go. Now, the Incredicoaster is no joke. I absolutely was not going to risk having my phone out to film myself as much as I would have loved to get it on camera for everyone. It was the one ride that they were specifically saying in the line, you must put your phone away. Like not just the usual, like keep your hands and legs and all belongings inside the vehicle. It was like, put your phone away. <laughs> So at this point it went away. I was not going to risk losing my phone. Here's some other people on the ride so you can see what it was like. And oh my God, that feels so much faster when you're actually on it. Honestly, as I said, no joke. It is such a fast ride. It's got a freaking loop-de-loop, like upside down. I couldn't even cope. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look, I need to fix all of this, but I can't believe my hair stayed on. No problems at all. I mean, I can because I have full faith in it, but can't believe my hair stayed on when like my lashes nearly came off, I swear to God. And like my dress straps were all, they'd fallen down, like we were completely out of control. So I'm very pleased with the result, despite needing a little bit of a brush now. Here I am checking my lashes, they're still there and wiping the tears out of my eyes. I couldn't keep the tears in my eyes, I could keep the hair on my head. Just switching to another view to finish this video off. My husband Greg took this video for me thinking that it might be helpful to see the hair from the back. And oh my goodness, how clever is he? Like, yes, it is so helpful. This video is way better than the video I was making. 
<laughs> it looks so much more dramatic from the back. Um, obviously, as I said, I'm wearing my Game Changer wig here. So for someone like me with no bio hair at all, the Game Changer wig is like, it is just not going anywhere. It is so secure. It grips on with silicon grip to your scalp. It is not moving. Now, if you're wondering, that's all well and good for you, Holly. You've got no hair and you wear the Game Changer and that's super secure. But what about me? I've got bio hair or I, you know, wear a top or a different type of wig. There's always going to be a way to make a piece work for you so that you can do the things that you want to do in it and not let your hair hold you back. If you're wearing a topper, firstly, obviously use all the clips. You can wear a headband to keep it down more securely. You can braid it into your hair at the sides to incorporate it into your hair. You can wear it in a ponytail with the essentials wigs. Wear the wig grip for sure. Use the clips if you've got bio hair under there. Use the adjustable straps at the nape of the wig to make it as tight as it can be and find a way that it is secure enough that you feel confident to go on that roller coaster or whatever it is that you want to do because it can definitely be done.